next one is Kitty from Oshante, and this tutorial for my video is called Put a Filter Zest. Um, basically, I'm going to show you how to make these signs like this. Um, this is giving credit to Apache, I think it is. Um, I don't know the sign ID, but pretty cool sign. Um, Alright, so, first you're going to open up Photo Filter and open up your picture that you want to use. Like this model picture. Okay, now you're going to get this selection tool with a polygon and lasso tool and then select around your person or thing or whatever you're using. I am going to do this really quickly because I don't want this to be a long tutorial because once you have it selected, um, you're going to you can open up a sun vector which you can get from my links in my description. This is it. Um, right click, copy, go back to photo filter, add it, paste this new image. Should paste it should come up about the same size as it doesn't really matter. Okay. And what you're gonna do here is you're going to click on the magic wand to lift up the tolerance to about thirty and make sure your color box is unchecked. And you're going to one by one select these and go to edit, stroke and fill. Stroke isn't selected, fill is selected. And then the fill pattern is selected. And then you can pick out the pattern that you want to use. I look at the screen one right here. And then you can click preview if you want to look at it and then click OK. Um, basically, do that for the next few. I'll do uh, every other black one. Just click OK. It should be on there a bit already. Click stroke and fill. OK. Um, do that all the way around. And then once you're done with all the green ones, you can go back and then do the next one. Uh, open up the next one. Okay. Okay. Do the black one once you're done with all of that. And then find the one that you want to use. I'll use uh, orange one. Click OK. And then you're going to go to filter, stylize, progressive, contour. Make sure the opacity is set to 50%. The width is set to 3. Color is black, and the effect is blur, and opacity is 50. Please do it, and you can tell the add effect. Click OK. Selection, hide selection. And then do it all the way around. Basically, open a new image of the same size as that first image. Okay, sorry. Okay, now um, you're going to open up a new image. Why is my computer? Okay. It, this is... Uh, 768 by 1024. Open up that. I already like that. And drag it over. You can minimize the sun vector once you're all finished with it. And then you're going to do a gradient. Now, I'll go over here to the selection tool to click on the rectangle. And then select about this much of it depending on the color. Then click on the gradient tool. And then pick top, bottom to top or top to bottom, I have actually looked at top to bottom, then click OK, make sure opacity is 100% on each of them, and then bring down this selection tool all the way to the very tip of the other one, um, I'll make the next one blue, I guess, um, okay, and then bring this down again, do this whole thing again, Uh, okay, make this, this, and then take the other color that you used. I think I used, what did I use? Um, alright. Oh, I used green. Okay. Alright. And you can do it one last time if you need to. Um, make sure green is selected. You can just do the rest of the green. Okay. Then select, I select from that. Add the cool effect to make it. A really cool gradient. Plus, it was made of photo filter. Okay. So now, what you're going to do is you can click on the link, you can read one, but you're going to open an image pack for brushes. If you don't know what that is, um, of course, you can look at my link, but this is an image pack. A whole bunch of brushes compiled together into one image. So, what you're going to do is you're going to you can copy this link, right click, copy one of them, I don't know, just open one of them, edit, paste the image you can here. Okay, now you're going to go to Selection, Select All, Edit, Copy, Minimize it, or Close it, go back to Gradient, 
left the color to white now at its pay special max. See how that it turns out actually really cool. And then you're going to go to right click validate paste. Okay, so now what you're gonna do is you're gonna go back to here. Um, I guess it might have unselected. Anyway, sorry. Um I guess you can select your pet model again. Did that look off here, guys? I didn't know that it was unselect. Next time I guess you don't have to do it in the beginning. Okay. Okay. So let's do like that. You can go to edit. That's cool. Pretty cool looking. And then what you can do, so now um, you can right click valid, right click valid paste, and then go, go to your polygon elastic selection tool again and do the outside edge of your site model just like I'm doing, but make sure it's not like this thick, make it pretty small. So it's barely around here, so it's almost like a very thick outline. Okay. Now, oops, okay. now you're going to go and open your sun vector. Yeah. Um, maybe you can close this by the way. Open your sun vector. This isn't done, but for some like it is. And then you're going to go to edit, copy, here, edit, paste. Okay. It looks really weird because it's not done, but it would look like this altogether if it was. If it wasn't. Okay. Okay. Now I'm going to go to edit, valid, paste. Go back to all. And then you're going to select around your site model gradient again. So let me just do that real fast. So once you're done, hold on a minute. Okay, so once you're done selecting your new gradient again, you're going to go to filter, stylized, progressive contour. You can keep the settings the same. I would recommend making the width a little bit higher. Um, that adds effect. As you can see, I can make it higher. I'll make it like 10. Okay, anyway, click OK. And then selection, high selection. Okay. Now what you're going to do is, this is the tricky part. You're going to open up a new image that's the same size, once again. You can close this if you want. No. Okay. And then you're going to fill it in with one solid color. Main color I'm going to I'll use, I'm just going to use white because it looks best with the colors I'm using. So now what you're going to do is if you want, you can click on my link to a single brush. This is the brush I'm going to use. Right click, copy. I have it on the link right away. Okay. Now pick your first color you're going to use. I'll use this pink color. Make sure you're on this image. Edit, paste, special, um, mask. There we go. Okay, um, you can make it smaller or bigger. Set the size, edit, valid, it, paste. And then do your next color. Orange, edit, the special, mask. Make it a little bit smaller if you want. But you know what to do. Now go back here, and you're going to go to your round selection tool, the circle one. Go from the top corner straight to the bottom corner. And you're going to right click, invert selection, and then open your image, same size to this one once again, edit, copy on the side, go back here, edit, paste, it's going to give the outline of it, right click, validate, paste, and then go to your polygon elastic selection tool, and select the corner that you want to get rid of, like that, and you're going to refresh the week, and then press selection, press selection. Now go back here, and you're going to go to right click, invert selection again, edit, copy, over here, edit, here it goes, right on top of that one. Okay, so, once that's it, you can see how it adds this little corner thing, it's nice and even. And you're going to go to right click, validate paste. Okay, now, again, you're going to go to your polygon last tool and select this round edge. And the reason why you have to select, um, or you have to do it on a new image because um, if you do it just in here, it will make it look sloppy. Okay, so you're going to edit, copy, go back to this thing and go to edit, paste. Didn't really fill it up quite enough, but 